Um, I'm trying to just see, um, what was this? They're saying that Duck was supposed to allegedly, um, been, um, been yelling why the, the, the police, um, his last words, because you guys, um, this is what I'm showing you on here. This is allegedly the, um, it, it, it's, this is in the federal documents. This is basically, um, Duck's like, um, it's called a dying declaration paper, um, something like this, but this is in the, um, in the federal paperwork as well. So allegedly say on the um the, the, the thing that Mr. Duck was um allegedly yelling help me, then was his last words and the officer that was there with him, um that was there with him, the officer gave his statement and said that he was there with Duck when Duck gave his last words and um he said that Duck had multiple gunshot wounds. He said seven of them. You see, so now we have um seven twenty one um three and also sixteen. You guys, you see, I don't know about you guys, but me myself personally, I'm kind of um looking at the paperwork a little fidgety right now. I'm trying to, I'm kind of looking at this paperwork um as a little fishy right now. See, because it really doesn't seem too official for me because I would think at least somebody would go over the paperwork before it's all posted on social media and see all this um these conflicting stories within this paperwork. But you guys, if you haven't seen my last video, you need to go watch my last video was Mr. Moo-Wop set up. Go check the video out. It's out right now. You see, it's out right now. Please go check the video out. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe, you guys. I got um, all breaking news coming on my channel. It's going to be all breaking news, you see. And, um... And we got a we got a long way to go because um, FBG Duck trial haven't started yet, you guys. But we definitely got a long way to go because it's a uh, um, right now. I'm starting to see a lot of um, co conflicted stories and things like this, you know. And that and that um, you know when you see things like that, conflicted stories and stuff like that, you know, you just um, you just look into it and you just figure out um, what's you know what's what you feel. <laughs> What's what, y'all? I'm going to just put it like that. But guess what, you guys? Y'all need to tune in. Stay subscribed, you guys, because um, I don't remember where I'm looking at it now, y'all. I don't see it um getting any better because it's like big, big major mistakes being made. Um, within this whole case right now, and I'm and, I'm, and, and another thing I'm anxious about, and I want to see. I really want to see if um. If Muwapnum case will be televised like Thugs is, but nine times out of ten, it's not. You see, nine times out of ten, it's not. You know, but you know they're gonna do the little drawings, the little sketches, the stuff like that. So um, I'm, I'm gonna be um, anxious to see the sketching of um, um, Mr. Wiley. You know, I'm gonna be anxious to see the sketching of him sitting on the stand because I'm pretty sure that um, that. That, that, that's not going to be televised. The reason why I'm pretty sure it's not going to be televised, because I'm pretty for sure if they televise this and then this this paperwork comes up, you know, everything that's said in this paperwork is everything that got to be said at court. And I'm pretty for sure when people see 16, 21, 7, 3, and a lot of conflicting stories, I got a lot of more conflicting stories that I'm going to bring to, um, to, 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 to the table as well. But when people see all that stuff like that all around the world, they're going to start feeling some type of way. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I want you to go check out the video right before this. Um, was Muwap set up in the FBG duck case? You feel me? Was Muwap set up? And um, I don't know, you guys. It's just, um, to me right now, you guys, it's just starting to be too many um, conflicting stories in this paperwork. And the first thing that we're showing you that's conflicted in this paperwork is um, the how many times the um, alleged victim was allegedly hit, you see? And that's a, um, that's a major, major discrepancy in a case like this, especially the case that they're fighting. That's a major discrepancy. You see, if anybody was in, um, in, in the shoes of um, those guys right there, 
I'm guarantee you that there'll be that'll be the first thing that their defense will be um will, will be going at. Trust me when I tell you. So I'm probably 100 percent sure that Muwaps and them the O Block trial will not be televised because to televise it that means the whole world will be watching the trial and there's a lot of smart people in this world and they definitely will see those um, discrepancies. You see what I'm saying? Oh, that's one more thing that was um, mentioned in the um, that declaration, this dying declaration thing, was that, um, like you should already say, that um, Duck's last words was, help me. And then they said um, that the officer was right there with him. You know, um, he had seven multiple shots. You know, he had several gunshot wounds, you know, like seven of them. And then um, he basically said, they basically said in the declaration that um, Mr. Duck um, went out right there on the stretcher. I guess that's when he took his last breath right there on the stretcher. You know, the police that was there with him and things like that. But the strange part of it about it to me was um, that when it first came out and I was checking out a certain interview and we was checking out the news and things like that, um, and also on, I think it was on the last channel too as well. His mother already said that um, once she got out there and got to the hospital, um, they didn't let her in the hospital yet, but they pronounced Doug um, deceased at five o'clock. And they didn't come out the hospital and tell her that um, Duck was deceased to 10 o'clock or nine or 10 o'clock, you see. So um, was it on the stretcher before they was putting him on there? Um, before they got him to the hospital, or was he still cool when he got on that stretcher? Like I thought he was, because I seen him moving and things like that. You know, he was still alive when he got on the stretcher, sir. You know, he was still alive when he got to the hospital, sir. And then he was pronounced deceased at five o'clock, sir. He was pronounced deceased at five o'clock. So if he was at the hospital already and he was pronounced deceased at five o'clock, I think the only people that will be hearing his last words will probably be the, the doctors, right? The people who was doing the surgery on him, right? Okay, so um, we need the, um, you to go do your research, and then I'm going to need the, um, the people who wrote the, um, the dying declaration paper to uh, go do their research as well because uh, something, 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 something just ain't right, and I'm out.